What's up guys? Thanks so much for stopping by the channel today. My name's Timothy and I'm coming at you with another video as part of the DJI Mavic Pro tutorial series that I have going on right here on this YouTube channel. It has been amazing to see this channel grow over the past few weeks. It is just blows me away every time I wake up in the morning and look at the subscriber count. We're at over 26 hundred subscribers my end of the year goal for 2016 was to hit a thousand subscribers and you guys have just blown that out of the water so i just wanted to give a quick word of thanks again just a week and a half ago i made a thank you video for 1200 subscribers and we're already to over 2600 so thank you guys so much i'm so glad that you're finding this content helpful um, and i hope that these tips just keep helping you guys make the best content for your channel so just from my heart, thank you guys so much for your support. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, why don't you consider hitting that subscribe button today and joining this community. So with all that said, if you're excited for today's episode, smash that like button and let's get into the video. So today I wanna to talk about the waypoints mode on the DJI Mavic Pro. This mode allows you to make really smooth and beautiful lines of flight without having the necessity to run those joysticks and fine motor skills in order to get those smooth shots. Essentially, it allows you to pick a frame and fly however you want to to that one spot, pick a frame for your, for your object, and, and snap a waypoint. Then fly to another point and how you want your camera to end up, and set another waypoint and so forth and you just keep continuing to do that after you set all your waypoints then the, the, the drone will actually fly between all those waypoints by itself uh, and allow you to just focus on getting the shot that you want without having to control those really fine joystick move maneuvers in order to make a nice smooth shot so let's get the drone up into the air let's get into the controller and i'm going to show you exactly how to do this all right so just a quick tip make sure that you have your latest firmware downloaded from the dji go app before you head out it is really cold today guys it's uh around 30 the wind chills are in the 20s i know that's not cold for some of you guys from up north but for me and Tennessee this is really cold and my firmware upgrade needs to happen so I'm just standing out here with the app downloading the update over my network and it's uh it's slow and it's cold and so I just recommend you guys boot up your drone especially if you haven't done it in a few days uh, at your house when you have your Wi-Fi network to make sure that your firmware is upgraded so you're not just standing around in the cold waiting for it to update all right, so it's definitely the coldest day that I've flown this drone yet, and that was the longest update that we've had yet for this drone. But uh, just make sure that after you do a firmware upgrade, you do shut down both your phone, your device, your controller, and your drone, turn them all off, restart everything in the correct order after every firmware update. That's just gonna make sure things are all reset and ready to go. So that's what I've done. Everything's booting back up and then we'll get the drone up and get into the video. All right guys, so we are here in the uh, drone menu. You've got everything pulled up. The drone's right up there above us. I'm gonna take off just a little bit further so that sound is kind of out of the way. Uh, as always, to start off with a mode, you're gonna go down here to the drone icon. The waypoints is on the second page, so you're gonna swipe over and hit on waypoints. So when you get into waypoints, you're gonna get this little menu here. It says in waypoint mode, the aircraft will follow a flight path of set waypoints. Now it's saved missions is here and then start recording waypoints is right there as well. So if you go into those saved missions, that's really, really great because you could actually go to a place of filming, run your drone around and set up those points and then save them. And then when your activity actually starts, say, I don't know, you got a group shot and you got all these people coming together. You could have that set up and saved already and then just recall it. And when you get to that place and everybody's in the right spot, instead of setting up all that in the moment, it could already be done. You're just gonna hit a button and the drone's gonna go for you. So it's a huge time saver uh, when you're in a, a situation, especially if you're doing this for professional use where always the rule is time is money and you wanna make sure you're using your client's time wisely. You could show up ahead of time, program all these routes out ahead of time. And then when your client gets there or whatever, whatever you're doing that day, just recall up that save mission and go from there. All right guys, so really quick story. 
I accidentally did not push record a new clip whenever I finished the last video. So I'm coming in now, uh, back into this video. I'm gonna pick up right where I left off and hopefully besides the wardrobe change and significantly colder temperatures today, you won't even know the difference. So let's get back into the video and I'm gonna show you the waypoint. So here we're gonna fly to our first point. So let's say that this is our first point. Go ahead and set waypoint one by pushing the C1 button right here. C2, uh, which is by default this button on the back here, that's gonna delete your waypoints. So this is gonna add one on the left and delete one on the right. All right, so that's our first waypoint. Let's go ahead and fly to the next point and let's just take it out, raise the altitude up and come out over here with that view. Set that waypoint, and now let's fly maybe quite a ways this way. We'll go here and set that waypoint. Now I'm going to turn, come back this way, and set that as a waypoint. I'm going to come back out, close it off with that right there as a waypoint. Now, if I pull up, uh, we just hit done here. Now that we know that all of our waypoints are set, we can hit done. Um, and then it says the aircraft will return to the home point if low battery or return home is triggered. So set a suitable return to home altitude. So in case something happens during this mission, it's going to return to home at the altitude that you set right here. So 40 meters is perfectly fine for me. It says the current altitude so you can get a good reading and feel for that. You can also look at the map and see exactly what kind of route that you have made. So you'll see that this is the home point. It's gonna to go to the first point, the second point, third, fourth, and fifth, and come back around. So that's also a nice feature. So we're gonna hit apply, and it's gonna upload waypoints to the aircraft. Now, the, the drone is actually gonna fly itself back to the initial point. So it's gonna to go to, to home point number one, first to waypoint number one so we're going to wait and let it do that i'm actually going to speed up the drone and i'm going to hit record go ahead and start the recording of this so let's speed up the drone go ahead and go to 22.4 that's as fast as it's going to go in this mode all right and so it's stopping right here at waypoint number one, it turned itself around and now it's gonna actually fly back down and return to the altitude that we set at this first waypoint. Now I'm not doing anything right here, as I'm sure you're aware, I'm, you're watching my sticks right there. And here we go, so it's going off into the very first one. We can control the miles per hour even during this flight, so we can slow it down a little bit if we want to. It's going to go to one, now it's going to two, and you can see it's creating a nice smooth pan as it's doing this. So that's it's nice that you don't have to worry about, uh, about panning it yourself. It's just going to make this nice motion sweep all the way across and sort of round those corners out for you. And this is an update I think that's happened in the app because uh, when the first time I tried this, it would go in a straight line to the first waypoint and then turn very very uh, just kind of jerky like and then fly to the next one but now they've kind of worked that out and it smoothly goes from point to point and now it's reached the last one and when it reaches the last uh, home point or waypoint it's just gonna stay right there now while you're in the mission if for some reason you need to stop what's happening you can just hit the pause button right here and the aircraft uh, is going to just stop right where it's at and wait for further instructions so you can resume or exit this mode and then it's just gonna tell you that it's gonna hover after exiting the mode and then it'll just be there waiting for you. So guys, that's gonna do it for the waypoint system. My initial feedback on this is that it is a pretty good way to get some automated shots, especially if you need to navigate around some tricky areas like getting around trees or especially in real estate photo photography uh, or videography when you need to fly around the house and you don't wanna do that manually and you don't wanna use the point of interest mode, perhaps you 
need to get around some trees or something, then I think this works pretty well. Um, I have seen others use the, uh, I think it's called the Lychee app. I think that's how you say it. Don't, don't quote me on that as far as pronunciation goes, but uh, I'm going to look into that app because it seems like there's some modes that it actually does a lot better, and I think waypoints might be one of them, although there has been a lot of improvements since the DJI GO app has been updated um, as far as those really smooth shots between the waypoints instead of that really jerky motion that initially was happening. So that's just kind of a quick review. I think that it's a, it's a pretty good mode, but as you get more comfortable with your drone flying, I think you'll be able to do a lot of these things on your own. One thing that I'm surprised that it doesn't do is actually allow you to uh, frame up the camera. So the gimbal doesn't remember where it's looking from point to point. So if you fly really uh, kind of crazy to one point and then set the gimbal and an exact frame that you want and then fly to the next point and move the gimbal, when you recall that mission, it's not going to move the gimbal as well. So um, I think that's sort of a downfall, at least for me. But let me know. Tell me in the comments below if you like this feature um, and how you're going to use it with your drone. So that's going to do it for me today, guys. I hope it's been helpful. Thanks so much for watching. Leave a like and be sure and subscribe to the channel. We are just growing like crazy here and it's so awesome to be a part of it. So thanks for all of your support. I hope you guys have a fantastic day and I'll see you in the next episode.